it for some alpha beta alpha is less than equal to beta and alpha plus beta is equal to 8 and we have been given one more equation then we need the value of alpha square plus beta so we know that tan of tan inverse alpha is always equal to alpha and similarly cot of cot inverse beta is always equal to beta now sec square can be written as 1 plus tan square theta sec square theta is 1 plus tan square theta similarly sec square theta can be written as 1 plus cot square theta and we have been given this value as 36 this square over here means this whole 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 square and this square over here means this thing whole square so tan of tan inverse alpha is alpha so it is 1 plus alpha square similarly 1 plus beta square is equal to 36 so we get alpha square plus beta square is equal to 34 so clearly it looks like 3 square plus 5 square still if you want to solve properly you can write beta is equal to 8 minus alpha and you will be getting a quartic in terms of alpha and its root will be 3 and 5 after solving the quadratic alpha square minus 8 alpha plus 15 equal to 0 which you get on simplifying this so alpha is 3 and 5 we have been given one more information that alpha is less than beta so alpha will be 3 and beta will be 5 now what do we need we need the value of alpha square plus beta so it will turn out to be 9 plus 5 14 and that is the answer given 14.